North Korea has launched a suspected short-range ballistic missile into the Sea of Japan, according to South Korea's military. They said it flew around 570 kilometers after being deployed on Sunday. This is in defense of multiple UN Security Council bans and comes as the US, Japan and South Korea begin to share real-time information about Pyongyang's missile launches as of this month. Jagriti Dave reports from Washington. These latest indications of a launch by North Korea are expected to complicate further the attempts by the United States to denuclearize the peninsula. It suggests that North Korea is willing to double down on its threats rather than view the actions by the United States, Japan and South Korea, their cooperation as a deterrence. Um, and this ramping up of its missile test by Kim Jong-un is an example of that. Is There's added concern that North Korea could also supply weapons to Russia as part of its war with Ukraine in exchange for Russia's knowledge about nuclear technology. So uh, these missile launches are worrying not only for the uh, Korean peninsula, but uh, wider geopolitics. Now, now, all this comes as uh, the United States, Japan and South Korea are about to launch uh, a sharing system of uh, missile uh, data uh, of launches by North Korea. And that's due to happen this month. And the sorts of things that they will be sharing um, are uh, detecting and tracking incoming North Korean missiles. There'll be uh, nuclear operation scenarios uh, in, as part of their joint exercises, all of these which Pyongyang views as provocations, but which the United States, Japan and South Korea view as necessary parts of their attempts to denuclearize the peninsula and for the security of the trilateral uh, agreement and their own individual nations against the threats and the challenges uh, posed by North Korea.